Pause the video and comment below if you know what I'm going to make out of these. I can't let him take my soul. Nah, 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 no. Oh, I can't let him take my soul. Nah, 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 no. Hey guys, welcome back to another video and another IKEA hack. I'm so, so excited to do this one because I haven't had the time to do any DIYs on this channel for so long and I miss them. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. So it's going to be hacking I an IKEA item, which this is why I love IKEA. So I've done lots of IKEA hacks on this channel before, lots of sort of affordable DIYs, things like Poundland creations. But with IKEA, I just feel like they that their products are so multi-usage. So for example, today we are gonna be using, and I'll get the name on the screen so I won't be able to pronounce it, the bread bin, two of them. And you might think just a normal bread bin. That is true. However, we're gonna make it into something completely different that has got a purpose, a use. We're gonna have it in this room. So we're gonna go with sort of like quite color coordinated for this room as well. And I'm just so excited, so enjoy the video guys. I've got loads more IKEA hacks and DIYs here on this channel if you want to see them. So I will link the playlist in the description bar. I'd love to have you here as a subscriber to see more affordable living videos like this and loads of DIYs and budgeting and finance videos as well. Let's grab a cup of tea and get into the video. Of course, this little one is going to get involved and have a little sniff around, see what's what. What is it, Maggie? <laughs> uh, so, we're going to put these on. I'm going to get some sheeting out, actually, because I don't want to ruin the floor. And then I'll show you what we're going to make. I got this one from Home Bargains. It was 69 pence. I thought I'd just protect the floor. Just like it. But you could obviously just use a sheet or something like that, but we don't have anything like that anymore. So here we have our bread bins, and they are just a very simple bread bin. You've probably seen one before. Uh, loving the style of them though, with this sort of ribbed wood, fluted wood, and the handle. Now I was considering changing this, but I don't think it will work very easily, uh, but we can maybe add to that later. So this is how they look at the moment. I'm gonna prepare the area that I'm gonna do it in. I've got this which was 69 pence from Home Bargains. I would normally use a sheet, but because since we've moved, we've just like scrapped all of our old sheets like that, so I don't have one. So if you can use a sheet, that would be much better for the environment, obviously. Um, but I will just fold that up and reuse it. And I'm gonna just use this space here for creating my masterpiece. So, what we have here inside the bread bin, and I'm not quite sure how I would sort of take it out, is this very thin panel here. It does actually slide about quite a lot, but I'm not sure how to go about getting it out I've checked and if I were to take it out, then it would still be absolutely fine along here and it would attach absolutely fine. I'm a bit worried <laughs> if I take it out, uh, it won't connect. I'm sure it will. So I might just maybe take a sort of saw to it or, or something uh, to see if I can get that out because I'd like them to join sort of straight through so there's no gap there just to make it a bigger cupboard a bit more usable people i'm saying get what i'm painting a picture big i call it little baby if i'm on a board then we plan chess if you on my way you gonna need a vest act big you might get stretched all your gun talk i ain't impressed my 45 seems real traffic that's dallas texas my little partner called her body four miles of riding he told him get about the car hit him with the shoddy that 12 gauge gave him life in the 12th grade i tried to write him but we ain't on the same page. I caught him slipping. I just had to let him know. It ain't the end of times yet. I know, but it's getting close. These demons really had to get you, so you better guard your post. There's certain things I could probably let go, but I can't let them take my soul. Nah, 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 no. Oh, I can't let them take my soul. Nah, 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 no. I can't let them take my soul. Have you ever seen more grace and style? in a DIY before. Do not try that at home if you are not, um, basically, don't do that. Use something else. You've gotta be really careful with these. You could slip and hurt yourself. So just be super careful. 
I would suggest maybe using a drill going in in like four points and then um, you could probably get like a little saw in that would be a bit safer. But I've done it guys, I've done it. Here they are. Right, so what I'm gonna do now is tape it up. Uh, Maggie is very interested in what's going on. Tape it up and then get the wood glue out. So I've got my wood glue from Home Bargains. I'm hoping it is gonna be good quality. It does say uh, exterior and interior grade, high strength formula, dries clear, easy clean up. So I'm going to get that there um, and then start taping up. So I've gone for this, which is a Rust-Oleum paint. I've never used Rust-Oleum, no I have. I was thinking of um, Frenchy paint. I've never used Frenchy paint before. Just tried to open it and caught my finger there. So that might start swelling a little bit. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna try this one because they didn't have like a sort of forest green, which was what I was hoping for. But I really love this green color. So even if it doesn't go in this lounge, it may well work in a different room because it is one of my favourite colours. Um, so yeah, we're going to get that on. I've just masked up the... Um, I can't wait. I've just masked up because I want to keep the top uh, the same colour and the handles as well. And I was toying with the idea. I wasn't sure whether I should wood glue it first or paint it first. I feel like I'm going to paint it first then wood glue it last so I can do that overnight. Otherwise, I can't paint it and then I've got to... Yeah, and then we'll put the legs on tomorrow. Live your life within the moment, moment. And don't go wait until the morning, morning. You never know when it is over, over. All that I know is we'll get older, older. So let us dance this night away. Night away. We get lost in the crowd, it's getting thicker We get away, get away from the drinks and chatter Haven't said a word, but it doesn't matter Till the air So I've just finished the second one And what I love about this paint, two things Is first, you don't have to do any priming And second, uh, it dries really quickly So the first one is already dry So I can go over back with a second coat here while this one dries and then do that one. And then once it is fully dry, obviously I will be gluing it, but I'm also gonna be using this furniture wax, which I bought for a project ages ago and it will literally last forever in terms of like uses. It goes a long way. Um, and yeah, I've sort of got that much gone in there. So yeah, I'm really happy with the color so far. Really pleased with keeping the top that color as well. I just feel like it, they go really nicely together. Those are both done now, so I'm just going to let those dry off and then get the legs sorted and then look at gluing uh, because I'm going to have to try and wrap them just to put it into place. So, yes, that's next bit. No one else can see her. Live your life within the moment, moment. And don't go wait until the morning, morning. You never know when. Okay, so it's all dried now and I'm going to, I've put the wood glue on as you saw. Um, I'm actually, I was gonna get a clamp, but I'm actually thinking its own weight is probably enough to uh, sort of hold it together. And then I've got these as extra support here. So I'm gonna pop them in here. These are a pound from B&Q. So I'm gonna pop those there um, because I don't know if it's gonna be very easy to do it on the inside. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna pop that on there. But for now, I'm just gonna let the wood glue set. And because I'm really impatient, I'm just gonna go in with my furniture wax. 
And as you can see, I've done a little tester here just at the back just to make sure it's not gonna destroy it. And yeah, it looks good. So it's just gonna darken it a little bit and then um, it will protect it. I'm standing in a blurry dream. No one else can see ya. So let us dance this side away. It's the next day now, and I'm hoping it's not gonna fall apart on me. Uh, this is the join here, so you can see there's no sort of glue mark or anything. I'm just gonna peel this off and see if it's lovely and neat, which it should be. Whoop. So I've got these feet, which should hopefully elevate it quite nicely in height, and they obviously match nicely with the wood. I was gonna go with hairpin, but I just feel like with these colors, this actually would probably look nicer. So yes, I'm gonna attempt to screw these on. I'm hoping it's gonna get through this wood okay. As you can see, it's got the sort of like through way, so you can use this bit as well. Um, and yeah, I'm really, really pleased with it so far. I can't wait to see it with the legs on. So I've just, Drilled some little pilot holes there so I can put the brackets on and then I'll be able to put in my screws. So yeah, that hopefully I'll just replicate that across the others and then we can put our feet on. All a lot easier than I thought it was going to be, and then these just literally screw in like that. It's almost ready. And this I'm going to just finish by hand because uh, for some reason it wasn't coming through, it wasn't uh, screwing all the way. somebody asking to come in the room. Come in then, look what we've made. Hello baby, I wanna say hello. Yes, I'm really pleased with it. It's a really nice height because obviously it's where you wanna sort of be putting a drink. So I'll get a coaster for it. And inside, I've actually for now just put some candles as storage because I feel like I've got quite a few candles and yet I don't really have anywhere to put them unless they're on the sides. So yeah, I could use it obviously for anything. I might even consider putting a shelf in there so I can do double height and get even more use from it. But yeah, I really, really love it. It's a nice finish on the top. You can't see any join lines or any glue. And yeah, you have to let me know in the comments what color would you do if you were to do this IKEA hack yourself, the bread bin hack. I really like the green in here. I feel like it does go with the sort of accents of green that I've got here, same color. Yeah, I'm so pleased with it. So that is the end of my IKEA hacks video. I hope you did enjoy it and you might like to do this hack as well. Let me know what colors you would go for in the description, in the uh, comments and let me know what you'd like to see me hack from IKEA next or Poundland hacks, maybe some autumnal DIYs. I just, all I can hear is Maggie's bell jingling. Uh, but yeah, let me know if you don't see any other IKEA hacks or Pound on hacks or Home Bargains hacks or anything like that here on this channel. I really enjoyed doing this. Hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you for being here and I'll see you so soon. Bye!